In today's video, I want to break down a unique cover two bomb out of the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook for you guys. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is designed to help you get better at Madden 21 through posting tips and strategies that are designed to help you improve your game and give you the tools that you need to win more games in Madden 21. And so if that's something that interests you, if you want to be part of what we're doing, I want to encourage you right now to go to the bottom right hand of the screen click that subscribe button and to the right of it is a bell icon that will allow you to turn on notifications so you can know whenever we release a new video but you can also know whenever we go live which is every single night at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time unless there's football on then we go live after the football game is over so tonight we'll be on after the chiefs game where we're playing these showing these tips off in real time all right, guys, so Tampa 2, how do you beat it over the top? This is a really uh, cool little formation, in my opinion, out of the pistol. Uh, it's the weak, uh, I believe it's the weak slot open. This is a really cool little formation here. You basically have three wide receivers. So what I like to do is put Mark uh, Marquise Brown at the right side, then your next fastest guy in the slot, and then on the left side, just anybody that could be Willie Sneed. Uh, you see here we have the play uh, Y cross. We have the play PA boot slide, which has a nice little stock fade on the right. We have the play Z under with that post from left to right in the corner route. We also have zone alert bubble, which is a really good little play. Uh, nice bubble screen. We have great quick passing out of deep curls. But the play we're going to talk about today is this play PA short post with some couple very unique routes on it. So if your opponent is running cover two, you don't have to do anything to this play whatsoever um, to get it to work against cover two. The only adjustment that I personally like to make is I like to take my running back and block him, and then I want to take Willie Sneed and put him on a fade. I find putting him on a fade will help with everything, just clearing out specific routes against zone. But what you'll see here is this route on the left side, or on the right side, is basically going to torch, and I, I should have not passed led that to the left. This route is basically going to torch man-to-man, -man, or not, I'm sorry, not man-to-man, -man, but cover two to the middle of the field. So you'll see here, once he gets that inside release, you're just going to throw this with a pass lead up, click on, and you're going to absolutely destroy cover two zone in this year's game. Now, what's really nice about this play is a lot of the meta defenses from a cover two man perspective is to shade coverage outside and to shade coverage over top. This is going to give you inside positioning. This is not always going to work, but if you have a really, really fast receiver, you see that he's able to beat cover two man right over the top because he's cutting to the inside, not the outside. And again, that's why a lot of the meta this year is to shade coverage outside so that you don't get beat on a route like we have from the play Y cross. You see if I run Y cross, Willie really Sneed's going to be in that route. However, if I run my PA play with the short post there, Marquise Brown's route is going to break at a specific point. So here, this is uh, still cover two, so I'll show you here. This is going to uh, torch it over the top. You see there, you can click on, you get that nice inside leverage, inside positioning, which is going to be key in running this play. Now, what happens if they run like super, super heavy press man, um, like just straight up bench press style uh, press man? You see that this is not going to be um, what I like about this specific route against a press man type of situ situation is if you have a fast receiver like a Marquise Brown or like a Tyreek Hill or a Tyrone Calico, if you have a speed advantage at receiver, this route is going to slope in almost like a post route. You'll see here, uh, if I pass lead it up, you see that he is going to be able to almost get over the top of that defense. Not always, partially because it's Stephon Gilmore, but if you have an advantage at corner, you can do that. However, what I do want to let you know is if they shade coverage outside and over top, this is what makes this play so good. If they do that shade, you're now granted, grant, he's now granted me inside position, so I can easily. Um, not only can I destroy cover two, as you see right here, just absolutely destroy cover two over the top for one play score, but against man-to-man -man coverage, which is the meta right now, if they're shading coverage outside and over top, this route has a chance because he's going to come in almost like a post route. And you see that right there? That's torching shaded coverage outside, shaded coverage over top, cover two man defense with deep safeties. Now, Lord help them if they don't if they don't have safeties. Let me show you what that looks like. So, if they don't have safeties, 
This is what you'll see right here. This is the meta. This is what everybody's doing. PA short post. You call this play against this. And what you'll see is you got a fast receiver like a Marquise Brown. Tyreek Hill just pass lead it straight up. He's going to absolutely roast him over the top against cover two man with shaded coverage backed off. And that is Stephon Gilmore with that one step ahead ability. So a really, really unique little play here um, for you. What's also really cool is this route to Thomas, this route over the middle you'll see that this is going to get inside position against man, and you can throw that just like a standard crossing route, standard little uh, crossing slant in, almost like a, a shorter post route. What's really cool is, as well, let's say you're facing your zone coverage, right? Well, this this route can be hit at multiple different levels um, for throughout the zone, and basically you're just going to want to do a high-low read, whether you're going to throw to the streak whether you're going to throw to the crossing route, whether you're going to – basically where are you going to throw the ball uh, within this read here. But this is against Tampa 2. Um, this route almost works like a drag route for me because it gets underneath a lot of zones. Um, if they're running yellow zones, a lot of times – this play right here is going to get underneath most of these zones. You'll see right here, he's going to get chucked in the inside, and you can easily have a check down read. I just need to make sure I'm possession catching, so I'm not getting catch tackled. But this play overall is a very, very effective play because here's what the defense is going to do. They're going to drop one of their middle linebackers back deep. What you'll see is you see that it is going to get him back. You see here, you know, there's nowhere to go with the ball. They got the deep middle closed off. But what that's going to open up for your offense – is this deep middle, or I'm sorry, this little quick middle. Right when he comes in here, you see I can hit that little read there to Thomas very easily against the zone coverage. So just a lot of really good plays here um, from this Arizona Cardinals playbook. But when you put that fade on the left side also, um, if they're facing, if you're facing like a you're going against cover two, it's going to help pull that left side safety out of the way. Now, one other thing you can do just to kind of hedge your bet a little bit is if they're running, if they're running um, heavy, uh, heavy coverage, you can actually kind of hedge your bet with a little, little H back screen here. Um, this play to help you kind of have a check down read, but overall this play is really, really good. I love the fact that it beats the meta. Like it just literally the shaded you can't shade outside against this route because of the angle of that post route and no one's going to expect this they're going to think he's just on any old streak but now look uh oh he's just torched me and cover two man for a one play touchdown so very very solid route here guys I want you to add this to your playbook today it's in arizona we updated the playbook there's new formations in there over two to three hours of new content so make sure to grab that ebook if you haven't already um two to three hours of video breakdowns with new formations uh that we've really not talked a lot about before when we talked about air raid so some really good stuff in there gonna add a little bit more balance to the playbook which i'm excited about but anyways guys thanks for watching if you haven't already subscribed do that but also if you haven't joined my discord be sure to join discord discord is a great place to be able to connect with other gamers uh, connect with other madden players and here's the deal. Uh, I got some good ideas about the game, but when you bring a whole community together, that's where the great ideas happen, and that's what Discord is all about. It's about bringing everybody together in one spot so we can talk Madden, learn from one another, help each other get better, and ultimately get everyone better at this game because we all want to have more fun playing this game that's a great place to lab find partners find lab partners find friends that are going to be able to help you improve your game so thank you so much for your time we're going to be streaming tonight on youtube after the chiefs and ravens game so uh, we'll talk to you then